I'm David Marquis, and I'm a Senior Product Manager at Equinix. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the new functionality of using ASI tokens for connecting to self for Fabric 2022.3. This new feature allows customers to use a token to connect to their own Fabric ports. This token can be shared by a provider or another Fabric customer and is associated to a specific third-party Fabric port, VLAN IDs, and a maximum connection bandwidth. This makes creating connections much easier for customers who want to connect to their Equinix assets through another organization's Fabric port. First, log into Equinix Fabric. Once logged in, navigate to Connections, then select Create Connection. Under Create a Connection 2, select My Own Assets. Finally, under Connect My Assets as E-Line, select Create Connection. Under Origin, select the Service Token option. Here, you can enter the service token that was shared by the provider. Once the token is validated, you will be able to see details of the port that is associated to that token. Under Destination, select the region and location. Then select from the ports available at that location. Then click Next. Provide a connection name. Under the name, you will be able to see the VLAN IDs associated to the origin or provider port. Provide the destination tags or VLAN IDs associated to the destination port. Optionally, you can provide a purchase order number. In this case, we won't do so. You will see that the bandwidth options are limited by the vendor or token provider. Select from the available bandwidth tiers or enter a custom bandwidth. You will notice that there's no price associated to these billing tiers or bandwidth tiers. This is because the connection is charged to the token provider. Select Next. Review the details of the connection summary and add any additional email addresses for users to receive notifications about this connection. Click on Submit Order. Once the order is submitted, notification emails will be sent containing details of the token being activated, as well as the connection being provisioned. From here, you can navigate to the connection's inventory. The connection is now successfully provisioned. The connection will be shown with two types, one outgoing and one incoming. Both of these represent the same connection. Selecting either one will take you to the connection details. From here, you can view further information about the connection and also manage its life cycle. This completes the demonstration. Thank you for watching.